We are just getting started this morning. It's about 9.30, so we're kind of slow rolling up. There are lots of people in the shelter to get up and get out. And uh, I think I said yesterday I was at Derek now, but we were at Double Spring Gap, which is really pretty. It's just a little bit of space to tent site, but we had a lot of fun with some section hikers that were just uh, there to do a memorial for one of their sons who passed recently and uh, celebrate his birthday. And now coming up out of Double Spring, we are in the almost the primordial forest. Lots of evergreens blocking the sun. And some down with moss on them. And I'm not sure how much of the trail will be in this kind of environment, but we are heading up two and a half, three miles to Clingman's Dome, which will be pretty cool to see. So this is pretty cool. We were just looking at Peak Finder and discovered that you can actually see Springer Mountain from here. And if you look beyond this little peak here, there's one little tiny peak way in the back. And that is Springer Mountain. We have come from there. That is amazing. So before we came up here, we were talking to some day hikers who gave us trail magic. It was epic. I believe it's Kevin and his friends. I thought it would be a nice thing to do while they're out on their hike today. And so I am going to enjoy that stunning view and my Snickers. Yeah. Yum. Thank you, Trail Angels. Love you. Here we are at the direction sign. This is Clingman Doan Trail is 0.3. Mount Collins Shelter, where we're going tonight, is 4.3, further than I thought. <laughs> and the AT is down that way, which if you didn't see that white blaze, you wouldn't even know there's a trail going through there. But there is. And this one looks like the easy trail for the day hikers, so we're taking the hard way. Of course, always AT way. All right, we just came up out of the woods. There's the Appalachian Trail sign, and we are heading up Behind me, this paved road is the Clingman's Dome Trail. We're going to go up and visit Clingman's Dome. And then we'll have to go back down into the woods and retrace our steps just a little bit to get back on the trail to the shelter. But we're going to go see Clingman's Dome. Let's do so it. So here it is, Clingman's Dome. I'm excited to go up to the top. We just had a fun chat with some day hikers out who had lots of questions about the AT. It's really nice to share with them what we're doing. And uh, yeah, we're heading up there. Oh, something I haven't paid a lot of attention to, you know, walking through the, uh, the forest. Oh, boy, so rich. Wow. This is pretty cool. Look at the view up there. It's going to be cool from the top. I'm just checking out the sign and it says where we came from, Fonte, and it's only 8.5, but that's as the crow flies. Chewabald is 19 miles. We came from there. And it's just, oh, what an amazing day to see this view. Loving it. Everybody's stopped on the road on the way up from Clingman's Dome because there is a little bear down there and it's very hard to see, but he's in there eating something. I don't know what. Kenny, I wish you could see it better. He's in there. We're coming down from Clingman's Dome. You can hear the rope down there. And we just got to the 200 mile mark. Spelled out right there. It's picture time. <laughs> Okay, Lorax found us Bigfoot. <laughs> Definitely not my foot, but that's pretty neat. 